Because of increased tension in many hot spots around the world, the State Department issued a worldwide caution when it comes to travel. But what if you find yourself in a crisis and need to get back to the United States? We are looking at some questions so we can verify if and when the U.S. will help. Our source is the U.S. Department of State Bureau of Consular Affairs, Federal Law, and the State Department Basic Authorities Act of 1956. Our first question, will the United States government always evacuate citizens in crises. According to the U.S. Department of State, if there are no commercial options, if there are consular officers at the embassy, and if conditions permit, they will help U.S. citizens identify possible transportation options. Or they will encourage people to stay at a safe location until they can find a commercial option to leave. So we can verify that no, depending on the situation, the U.S. government won't always evacuate citizens. And finally, do you have to pay the U.S. government for evacuation if it's needed. According to federal law, assisted evacuation of a private U.S. citizen must be reimbursed to the maximum extent practicable. The payment for people who evacuate during times of war, crisis, or natural disaster has been in place for more than 60 years when it was included under the State Department Basic Authorities Act of 1956. The U.S. Department of State says you do not have to pay before you board any transportation. However, you will need to sign a form promising to repay the U.S. government. So we can verify that, yes, if the U.S. government helps evacuate you, you need to repay them for the cost. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg. Thank you.